let's talk about how we're going to access our Cosmos DB database with Cosmos DB Explorer. So it's a web interface to explore and interact with your Cosmos DB accounts, accounts, database, you know, basically the same thing. And this is at cosmos.azure.com. So they have a dedicated um, uh, domain, subdomain for it. So the idea is you type that in and you would authenticate with your account. Um, uh, Azure is always single sign-on, so it's pretty easy. And then the idea is that you can access um, uh, your database and interact with it without having to write uh, any any kind of uh, SDK code or, or interact with CLI. You have kind of a GUI to do that. So the example here is for the core SQL. And you can interact with all the different types of the database in here. So it's not just core SQL, but there's a lot that you can do with it. Um, and so the idea is you can create containers from here, create new databases. Um, so a lot of similar things that you can do from the the um, uh, the Cosmos D portal with an Azure portal. Uh, so there's uh, some some stuff there. It doesn't matter where you create it. It's just where you want to do that there. Uh, there is an easier way to uh, access this. So instead of going to Cosmos uh, Azure.com, the way I like to access it is that I'll just be in the Azure portal uh, for my database. And uh, what I will do is access it under the Data Explorer tab. Notice here it says Azure Cosmos DB account. It gets confusing because they say like an account can or like uh, can contain multiple databases, but really it's just one database. It's so confusing. So you'll hear me interchange the term account and database uh, because the documentation does not clarify it. But in the in the GUI, you can see it says the word account there. But yeah, this is the way that I would recommend accessing that information. Um, you know, you can also, again, access different databases. So like, for example, we can see this is for Gremlin. So here I'm creating a new vertex, which is a graph graphing thing there. And so that's how we can do it there. So it's not just for um, the core SQL, okay?